Folks, it's a trip into the unknown. I'm digging over to this coal, this iron, all this stuff. I don't know whatever this stuff is going to do for me, but gold. But it sounds like good metals. I'm going to need some metals to do what I need to do today. Um, and honestly, the coal is a big deal because today is finally, 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 hopefully we get both. But today I want to try to get a new power source, a new source of power, and also a new source of oxygen that's the plan. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we're going to try our best at least. Currently, we are researching for a power control station. I'm going to make one of these uh, power rooms, I guess, because if I want to make coal generators, I guess I want to make them produce a little better, maybe even more efficiently. So that's the plan. Again, I'm not really sure what it all entails, but we're going to figure it out. In the last episode, you're going to hear me talking about how I'm not sure if I made this into a mess hall or a great hall, but I just figured out how to freaking look at that, of course, now. Remember, I am not home right now. When you are watching these videos, I've already pre-recorded them, so whatever information you're giving me in the previous one, not really going to apply to this one, but I found out that this, this is still a mess hall, so I got to maybe figure out how to make this into a great hall, and I think I'm also going to look into how to make better foods for my dupes. Just to build on that though, I have no idea why this is still a mess hall and not a great hall, to be honest. Because I have a mess table, I don't think I have any industrial machine, and just to be sure, I moved my refrigerator out of there. My decor... Oh, does it have to be one item? One item plus 20 decor? Oh, it can't be just decor plus 20. Oh, I see. That's the reason. And wouldn't you know it, I need something refined for power control station. I need refined metal. And the only refined metal or any refinement thing I've seen so far is the rock crusher. But I don't even know if that's going to do what I think I need it to do. So, I don't know. Maybe I gotta look into this first. Alright, so I got the Rock Crusher up in order, folks. And to me, it seems, this is what I'm looking for. Because iron ore to iron means refined metal to me. Because iron is a metal. But, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> he just punches the button. Oh, man. Clay in their style, man. He just punches the button and it gets to work. Okay, so I'm just refining five iron. I'm going to see if that does anything, folks. I don't know. Again, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm just experimenting here. Because I also want to look into, though, smart batteries. Because, I mean, do I really need my batteries to be running right now when I'm not doing deadly squat? So if I can get a smart battery and maybe tell it to turn it off when I don't need it, then, of course... That's just more power stored and it's more efficient. Yep, that's what I needed, folks, because now I have a refined metal category at 50 kilograms, but I need 200 kilograms for this power station, so yeah, I gotta, gotta do a bit more punching of the button, it seems. And since I'm looking into new power situations, I have gone into ranching. Now, I literally have zero clue as to what to do. But I should probably also go into animal control, simply because I need to bloody capture and hold the beasts. Uh-oh. I think one of my wires got damaged? That's interesting. So my wire got damaged and now nothing has power. Uh, can I fix that? How can I fix that? I don't know if I can fix that. And good timing on our boy Meep. He just got a skill point, so I brought him up to Critter Ranching too. Because we gotta start looking into this, folks. If I'm gonna start doing some coal generating, I gotta, well, start producing coal instead of just mining the stuff. Save Our Oceans have just leveled up too. And now this is where things start getting a little interesting. Because I can't necessarily zoom out, but I can do this. Rocket navigation. Now I believe there is a way to win this game. And it has has to do with you blasting off at the speed of light. So, if I need to get there, looks to me that I need to get strength up. But the more skills I put into her, of course, the more morale I'm going to need. So, I don't know if it's better to just chill for now? If it's better to just chill for now and not start doing crazy with skill points or what. But I'm going to do a little thinking here. And that didn't take long actually because I'm not going to do that. I am going to chill I think. And uh, as you can see I have built a little room here. And now I'm going to put a power control station in here. And I'm going to try to use a coal generator for the first time. So once April is done building this power control station. This should be a power plant. 
Yep, there it goes. A power plant, everybody. Now, a power plant just says whatever generators are in improve power production. So, I don't know. I guess it's time to find out what to do. So, what I'm doing is just wiring it into the pre existing system until, of course, I switch entirely over to it. Uh, because who knows? I might not have enough to run for super duper long, so on and so forth. But I'm also making additional batteries for the excess power output that is certainly going to come from using this generator. But, I mean, hey, it's something new, right? I've only been using manual generators. It's time to start increasing our power output. And there she is, folks. She's humming. Now we have coal. I mean, oh gosh, wow, yeah. And this is, uh, this is what I mean by making some more jumbo batteries. Because, yeah, we're going to have some excess power here. But there we go, folks. We got things humming. We have things humming, and that's awesome. A new form of power, folks. And I love how it looks like an accordion. So cool. So cool. I've never done this before. Uh, I might honestly mean more batteries because, holy moly, I am filling up fast. I hope they don't just continuously feed the thing coal. I mean, we don't need to continuously feed it coal. So, yeah. But all of my jumbo batteries are already full, so they should be running things for a while. That's good, that's good. Hopefully it doesn't just waste power. We gotta see. Again, this is a whole new territory for me. Whole new territory. Like, part of me was like, oh, let's fill this whole thing with power generators. But no, 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 no. I gotta figure out how to do one thing first. So what I also have gone and done, folks, I want them to be as efficient as possible. So duplicates will deliver coal when the total charge of the connected batteries falls to 0%. So, I have a lot of batteries, obviously. So when they fall to 0%, then they'll deliver stuff. So we're not just wasting coal all the dang time. And looky, looky, folks, not only do we have a new power plant today, we're also looking at a stable because I got to try to start grooming something. But I need refined metal before I can start doing anything. So what I'm pretty sure I think I need, an incubator, a trap. I don't know about a fish trap because I don't know how to go about getting these paku things or whatever. So really, I'm only going for an incubator and a critter feeder. Because I want to start getting all of these guys up there. If I can keep them in there and they start producing coal for me over and over and over again, then there we go. We got our coal generator pretty much running until, well, I die. <laughs> it is kind of funny when they dance. I'm glad I made this jukebox thing. I don't know if it's really going to help me, but it is very, very fun to look at. Whoa, look at this guy, though. A tropical Paku. Dude, you look like you had a bad Monday, friend. And a quick checkup on my food situation. Now that I'm able to have a little bit more power running through my colony, I was able to make two refrigerators because, yeah, the first one was full. I have 85,247 kilocalories. So I think once I find a good dupe to bring in, it's time to bring in a fifth dupe. And we have achieved that through this, our farm, folks. We're only missing two, I think. We're only missing two uh spots and we have a full farm and this has just been what's been carrying us really but again i think my dupes are getting tired of eating the same dang thing the meal lice so we got to look into how to make some better foods uh i see the problem folks how in the world do i get plastic hmm Gotta look into that. I don't know. I can't necessarily see it in this, so maybe I gotta find another refinement machine somewhere. Well, can't necessarily find it immediately. I have an idea of this, that, the other. However, I, um... Oh, this is also gonna be interesting, I think. This hazardous production might help me when I start going in the slime and things, but that's another thing. We've been, I've been recording for an hour and a half. I'm pretty sure I have more than enough. Unfortunately, once again, I have yet to do a oxygen solution. Um, although I believe I still do have one with the oxalizer and the hydrogen power thing. But speaking of power, <coughs> we now have a coal generator. And it's working. And it's working beautifully, I believe. Um, we're doing quite well on all this. Oh, yeah, I forgot I was going to do this. I was going to store my organic stuff in here. Algae and all that nonsense. Put that in there because it just makes sense to have it all in the poop piles and all that. Uh, ranches... Ranches and hatches, I'm still trying to figure out, obviously. Not entirely sure. I have somewhat, whoop, I have somewhat of an idea. Also, this wire is annoying me. Deconstruct this wire. Have somewhat of an idea, folks. Um, I'm going to work towards it. Probably 
when I get back from my trip. Because once again, a reminder, I am not home. So if I am not listening to your advice, it's because I literally haven't read your advice because I filmed these back to back to back. But uh, I'm, I'm actually excited. I'm excited that we are moving in a direction I have never ever gone in before. I am happy that I kind of fiddled my way to it. Uh, my power situation is interesting, never done it before, and I'm excited to get to learn more about it and do more about it and get better at it and so on and so forth. But pretty soon, hopefully, I'll be able to continuously make hatches that give me coal, and coal will be fed into this machine, and we will continue to make power. That's the plan, folks. That is the plan, and I think it's going quite well. But thank you so much for watching, folks. I promise you we will get this oxygen thing under control soon. We are doing all right in the oxygen field, but we I understand we will not be doing that forever. And then I think a next order of business is understanding water. How do I use water to create more water is the deal. Because eventually, I'll run out. I have been only using this for now, and I have this up here and so on. But eventually, I will run out. And if I want my colony to keep thriving and surviving for as long as possible, I gotta figure that out, folks. But thank you so much for watching. I am having great fun, man. Great fun learning new games, Hamlet and Oni. And uh, more games, different games are coming soon. And we'll talk more next month. But for now, we are done, folks. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.